Pesto here and in today's video I am doing a toy box opening of the super huge gigantic doll from Monster High of Goliope Jellington. This doll is literally huge. I've seen her at Big Lots for $16 and I felt like that was a good deal based off of Amazon anyways. Um, I normally check what the costs are on Amazon for something before I buy it. Um, like if I see it at um, Big Lots or if something is on sale maybe like at Target or uh, Toys R Us or something like that I always check online first normally on Amazon um, so I felt like that was a good deal so I just picked her up and she is so huge like I can barely fit her in frame um, here's the side of the box just like a quick glimpse there and here's the back it's like the same image such beautiful artwork that is one of the things that I love about uh, Monster High and um, Ever After High is the artwork that they do on all of their packaging. It is always so beautiful. Um, they do have a little um, like description thing down here. So if you would like to read it, you can pause and read it if you like. Pass some of the glares from my lights. Um, I took my, um, my umbrellas off of my lights because I felt like that might be better. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get her out of the packaging so we can take a peek at her and get her on my toy shelf with the rest of my dolls. Alright, so here she is with um, the plastic front piece off. I really like how the actual box looks. Um, the background, um, it needs like little pieces here. Um, it has that very um, like haunted, um, carnival-esque feel to it. Um, I guess there is another whole set of these dolls, but I do not have them. I only have her. I had huge interest in the large dolls, and she is definitely the first one that I believe came out. So I wanted to get my hands on her, so when I seen her, I just had to grab her because obvious reasons. Doll collector. Need it. I'm trying to get all these little plastic pieces and these rubber beans. Off her hands. Got her strapped in like she's gonna escape this box. But you know, she's so big, like she's probably about as big as my um my MSD ball jointed dolls. It's her leg free. So, um, I have her out finally. She's so huge. So, I'm gonna kind of give some um, little close ups here and such. Let me get this focused. Um, so, here's her face. I love how her eyes look. They are just gorgeous. Definitely flawless. They're huge. They're big. Um, she has huge earrings and these um, beautiful, um, what do you call them, they're like those shoulder things, um, and it is movable so it's not going to just, you know, come off or something. Um, her hair definitely needs some tending to, I'm going to give her some spa time and recurl the bottom probably because it looks weird. Um, she has, what do you call this, um, an accordion? I, I'm not quite sure that you would call it. Um, like those huge fancy um, pianos with the big things on top. She has that as a headpiece. Very cool. And I love her dress. It is definitely very like Lolita feeling to me. Um, but it has like the, the torn spots on the bottom. Very, very cool. Her skin itself is like drippy. Um, so she's kind of um, like a monster. Really, really cool. I love that so much. Very unique. I love all the Monster High dolls. They're so unique. Now her joints are very special. Um, she can bend extra so her arm can go completely up um, unlike the other dolls. So I just think that is very cool that they have decided to add that with the larger dolls. Um, there is an extra joint here that allows her arm to swivel. So it is very much like a ball jointed doll but without the strings holding it all together. You can tell that there's an extra joint on the legs. It allows her to bend her legs completely back. So it's very much like an obitsu. 
um, Orval join a doll. I mean, very, very cool. I love that. Very unique. And here's her shoes. Shoes are really, really cool looking. I love how they made these look kind of metal. Um, and I'm not sure if that's like a horse, but it's definitely like a skeleton. Maybe it's um, a carousel horse, but it's a skelling skeleton, skeleton version of a carousel horse. Really, really cool. I love, love this doll. She is so, so pretty. Very cool looking. Her head is huge. These dolls would be perfect for customization. Um, and I know that they have other huge versions of the Monster High dolls. Um, but this is the one that I have. And I'm very happy to have her as part of my collection now. And I really can't describe how big that this doll is. So I'm going to grab one of um, my other dolls and show you guys the size difference. Okay, so here is Goliope. Go ahead and focus on her dress here. And then here is my A-Zone. Um, there is a huge, huge size difference here. My A-Zone, I can fit her in the shots. Um, Goliope, matching it up with her head. My A-Zone's feet only come down to maybe about the thigh um, or knee area. There is still this much more of her that will not fit in the shot. That is almost like another whole doll right here. That is insane. Very, very cool. I'm so excited to have her on my doll shelf. I'm going to have to actually rearrange some of my dolls to even fit her on the shelf. Um, Goliathe also came with a stand. This is how big the stand is. It is humongous. It has detailing of the Monster High logo and such on it. Um, with the skelet. And her stand is just, it's huge. Um, it's insane compared to like a normal sized doll stand. Um, so that is it for my opening review and show of Goliope, the huge Monster High doll. Um, if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up. All my social networking is down below in the description box down there. Um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it's free. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!